Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So as many YouTubers buy Ferrari, Lamborghini, some expensive cars, I bought a Bugatti. Bugatti electric scooter. It's right here. Yes, Bugatti. They are not making themselves. They use a third party, but it should look really cool and looks like very luxury. So I'm gonna do unboxing and I'll show you this close up. Okay, so let's do the unboxing. So the company who makes this uh, Bugatti scooter is a Bytec. It uh, came in uh, this type of box, but it should have another box inside. And the box itself is kind of heavy. Oh. So here's the box, Bugatti. And I was not joking. I'll give you a specification for the scooter. So it comes with a nine inch wheels diameter magnesium alo structure the motor rated 300 watt but maximum power 600 watt the maximum speed 18.6 miles per hour it comes with three speed mode electronic cruise control which i couldn't use for some reason it comes with a battery 36 watt by 10 amp which uh, 360 watt hours the battery range is 20 to 25 miles which i think uh, might be less you can see at the end of the video it comes with front and rear turn signals safety bell maximum capacity 242 pounds and a certified overcharge protection with 90 days limited warranty and lifetime support i have no idea what they mean by that so i will do the quick unboxing because it's kind of hot today and very sunny so i'll do it pretty quick and I'll show you how it looks inside. Ta -da! And there's a box. Looks nice sticker over here. Which I'm gonna remove. Probably use somewhere else as it's cool. The box looks really cool. And the packaging is excellent, but it's about the same weight as a scooter weight. That's why the box is very heavy and this is a bugatti scooter which is really nice and then it comes with a nice box over here okay let's see what is inside let's see what this in bugatti box the electric scooter by bytec let's see what is inside it looks really nice. As you can see, there is a notice. A work of art created by engineers to deliver. I'm not sure who really de designed it. Bugatti or this company, Bytec. But regardless, it looks really cool. Uh, on this picture, looks really cool. You can see logo of the company when you turn it on. So and you have to install it i guess it's come with um, some card thank you card for support i think it only comes with like three months warranty which is almost nothing uh, usually bicycles come with one year some of them with two years this is a card with uh, just authenticity certificate card anybody can make them i don't see if there's number on it but oh yeah there's small numbers so it look like a real one tool which we'll use to install and then there's a charger and i think they use just basic charger and you have to remove full box in order to remove this charger It just uh, two amps maximum charger, so it should take about three to four hours most likely 
to charge this scooter and over here another cable and some some bolts the one I would probably need to attach that's it so it's ready to charge so this is a scooter so you would need to bring this up up and uh, lock this latch it just lift it up and it will be locked and then you bring this handlebar up and you need to attach this uh, plug adapter there will be two arrow there will be two arrow on both sides we just plug in that's it and you just insert it inside the cable and then you will take your four screws over here and um, bolt and attach it use this x key it came with so it should be pretty simple and then you attach another two screws over here and i want to show you how the locking mechanism works over here so basically it's you can lift it up okay so you drop the handlebar first like this and then you need two hands one you lift it up and then you drop it back and it will lock it in so it will hold it like this okay and if you need to open up you just push it all back and bring this handlebar up it's pretty simple but you will need to use two hands to do that but so far it looks good it looks good beautiful so I'm gonna remove this plastic it does come with a small bit over here the and only looks like only the front brakes that's it the tires it's very hard it's flat free so it means it's uh, this um, just solid piece of rubber which is um, should be pretty rough to ride on but again it's just a designer I guess a scooter which you don't see it every day and by Bugatti come with a, a signal light just basic actually it's not bad the bell now I'm gonna remove this film it will give you small instruction how to use this bicycle okay and it should be pretty simple you just press this button on and it will be on but you will not be able to see on the sun much all right so that's how it looks looks really slick uh, this uh, platform is a little bit the deck it's a little bit smaller than I expect actually for my feet because I size 13 as you can see it's almost full so you would need to remove the stand very small stand actually and to turn it on you just press the power and to ride the scoot you would need to push and then it will ride yeah there's not much space for the feet So the tires are like um, solid tires over here so they are very hard and you have no suspension so you will feel every bump on the road so it's not the best scooter i would say for bumpy road and to change speeds it's kind of hard you have to hold with one hand and then you have to change it so it's not the best way to switch it's on the bicycles i like it's next to your thumb you easy to switch so i'm gonna switch to uh, df2 
to the level two and see how fast it will go. So yeah, I will not go more than 10 miles over here uh, until I feel comfortable on this scooter. I know it's a little bit overpriced, but it's a Bugatti as you bring paying for the stickers I'm not sure if it will go on the grass but I'll check it out to see if it will actually it does you don't have to worry about getting flat because it's a solid tire but it's very bumpy on the And I'm on level 3, it's only going like 6 miles per hour on the grass, so there's not much torque at all, I think it's a motor up to 600, it's just not true, maybe it does, but it's very weak. And I'm weighing like 215 pounds. And um, so I'm trying to go top speed. So far, it's forty miles, sixteen. So far, I made only 16 miles an hour, the top speed. Yeah, I'm not tasting. <laughs> I lied. Well, it is fun to scoot on it, but I would not trade it for the bicycle. An electric bicycle more fun, more health benefit. So, and uh, this one is kind of, you can get nice bicycle for this price. Now it's 14, 15, and that's how I hit my head. And I notice I hit my head every tree because I'm 5'11 and on the scooter you're standing much taller than a bicycle and every tree I passing by I was hitting. Go some hill test, very small hill actually. It's a small hill only slow down six months now that's it okay and i just tested for the fun off-road and i can tell you this bicycle is not for off-road not to ride on the grass because of the bumpy uh, feelings and also very slow the maximum speed i got like six miles per hour so major drawback for me it's uh, not much space to stand on but it's slick which is good for some people but for me i thought i can ride with my boy standing on it but there's not much space even for me and i wear size 13 so it's kind of all depend what you're gonna use it for also i'm weight 212 215 215 pounds and at the top speed it was 60 miles per hour but even on this flat surface you can feel the ground pretty well let's see how it will go here 
and I hit my head all these trees never did with a bicycle 16 17 okay so now I made it 18 so I made it 18 but it takes some time so actually it does make 18 miles per hour based on this display I will not test it but uh, it does not feel as fast actually I'm not sure why compared to the bicycles And I'm going to show you a little bit more riding experience and at the end of the video I'll show you how to use the scooter and I'm riding on the speed level 3 which, which is top, top speed uh, it's okay um, I would not say it's um, comfortable I mean it's grip is comfortable but I think it's too wide my fingers are already numb so riding for only five minutes and it's um, one, the front brake make me worry I wish they have dual brakes on this type of bicycles but again it's just like a toy I guess it's not really powerful for my weight uh, but again 18 miles per hour based on the display it's pretty fast but I have feelings it's going much less actually it's happens many times before with other bicycles and as I said before the ride is bumpy because it's a solid tires no suspension at all I noticed after 5-10 minutes ride my back start to hurt a little bit um, if you trying to buy this for commuting to school or work if you're riding more than a mile or two you may consider to buy a bicycle or with uh, air tires which much better gonna be or suspension scooter I try to show you the monogram projection logo if you can see it at uh, right now it's a uh, evenings already dusk after sunset and you can see a little bit but not a lot so mostly at night you will be able to see this but I would not recommend to ride at night because the headlight is not as bright unless you get extra headlight see how many miles I wrote so you press M and hold it so odometer is uh, two miles and I have only three bar left and now I want to show you how to use this Bugatti scooter functions how to use this uh, Bugatti scooter electric scooter so uh, to turn it on you will press the power button and it will be on uh, to switch the speed one two three you just press M letter you will switch between if you want to turn signals it's pretty easy left to the left right to the right okay and if you want to turn it off completely you just press let's say you have it's uh, right on you just press on right one more time and it will be off this is a throttle thumb throttle in order to engage in a cruise control you would hold it for 10 seconds while you're riding this way it will turn on the cruise control and you don't have to hold the uh, throttle anymore you will just keep the speed you are going to and this one is a bell you just use the finger to bell it this is a brake uh, when you brake the light will be on as you can see over here 
That's how it will look. And you may wonder how to turn on this light logo Bugatti. So it's pretty simple. Once your scooter is on, you press the power button uh, repeatedly twice. Okay, and it will be on. So that's how you turn it on. To turn it off, you press again twice very quick on the power button and it will turn off to turn the light on you will see the green light over here you press the power button once with one click and it will be on to turn it off you press the power button once and it will turn it off to fold it it's pretty simple as well you just Take this latch, pull it up, and it should be easy to fold it this way. To fold it back, you just bring it up, and bring it this one up, and push it. And it will lock it by itself. How to ride it? Because as you can see, I push the throttle, it will not on, it will not move, because uh, you have to kick the scooter in moving and after it's moving you need to press the throttle this way it will start to ride you will start to ride it it's a uh, just safety measurement and it's, i think it's a great idea for that and to see the odometer reading uh, for trip or just total odometer you would have to press the m button and hold it for a few seconds and you'll see a trip to see a diameter reading you press and hold it and you'll see a diameter reading that's all to turn it off you just press the power button and hold it and it will turn off by itself that's how it looks at uh, night almost it's about already past sunset and you can see it so at night it's pretty good the headlight let me turn it on it's okay it's not bad you cannot really see light so it's not that bright and that's about it thank you guys for watching this video if you have any questions or if you want me to answer your questions in the next video review video about this uh, bugatti e-scooter please comment below I will try to answer all the questions in one video. Also, I can say that this scooter is not for everyone. It's overpriced, but it's uh, you already know when you hear the name Bugatti, that's what you're paying for. About three to four hundred more, most likely. I'll post a link in description. Similar scooter, more power. It's gonna be probably under seven hundred dollars. Check the link in description. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe below and like this video, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.